Well, we got good news and we got bad news. Good news is you know more about what is uh, in that hex, which we'll share in a minute. Bad news is you lost Catalina. The uh, what happened here? Just so you, I guess it doesn't really matter in terms of rules. We got it all right. Let me just say that uh, because we used the minimum launch number of launch factors, we didn't have to move into the wind, which would be moving away from the Catalina that used to be here. So we could launch one zero. And uh, it's just unfortunate based on timing that this zero was actually rotating back into cap uh, after refueling and rearming uh, from entering the map at 0500 or 0400 or whatever it was it came on. And so uh, we launched the zero, we moved the ships first, moved two hexes, which put uh, the Catalina in uh, observable range and that allowed us to launch an intercept so the zero intercepted and uh, wiped out that Catalina now what this means is next turn what I'm going to do is uh, in fact I'll, I'm going to pause the game here and post a poll and ask if you as players wish to continue with your search pattern in this area right uh there's you know there's a there's a bunch of um you've got a bunch of catalinas down here the two on the left need to return to base uh, pretty much immediately and they've covered most of this area but not all of it and as i said there's this gap here in the h area uh and there's also this area around the uh task force that has not been searched but you can also do some basic math and work out where to search next and I can do that for you or with you if that's what we need to do for the play by poll stuff. Uh, so that guy there though, whoops, he can hang around for a while but he's going to have to stay out of range, not of the zero, but out of the range of the ships for the time being. Uh, and what I suggest you, that we, we do is we take the this Catalina who's flying back and we divert him two hexes, fly over that task force and get an exact details of what it is and keep heading up this way. Then use this guy to, uh, to try and uh, bounce in and out of uh, observable range and keep track of this uh, task force for as long as possible. Uh, assuming it's the task force you want to track. And, uh, and it may well be, given that it's launched a, launched a zero against you. Uh, I think your primary target uh, is the, uh, the troop carriers, not this CV or CVL, uh, but uh, that's up to you guys. So I'll, I'll clarify all that for you and try and document it so that it makes a little bit more sense. I know that's kind of a gobbled... Uh, a gobbled video, but it's eight o'clock in the morning and I'm only on my second cup of coffee. So that's kind of the status of uh, uh, our first combat in the CV play by poll.